Are you getting ready for a vacation, hoping to finally get to try scuba diving in the ocean? Well, that's great. But please do not make the mistake of getting certified on your vacation. In this video, I'll give you three reasons of why you should get certified before your holiday instead. Let's get into it. Getting certified as a scuba diver was one of the best experiences of my life, and it's led to an amazing journey where I've been able to take a hobby and turn it into a part-time career where I get to share this passion with others every single week. Many people ask me where they can get certified and pretty much assume that they are gonna have to travel somewhere like down to the Caribbean, down to Mexico, or some other tropical destination so they can get their certification done. Now, usually people are absolutely shocked to learn that there are local dive centers all over the place and that will allow them to get certified locally, whether that's in a local lake, a rock quarry, or some other similar destination like that. Now, I always recommend you get certified before your vacation instead of during your vacation, and here's why. Now, I don't know about you, but the last thing I want to do when I'm laying out on a beach, sun tanning, drink in hand, listening to the waves come in is have to get up and go into a classroom or open up my laptop and take a class online. When you get scuba certified, there's an entire course you have to take that does include in water portions, of course, but before you really get your certification, you need to complete a class that's either conducted in person in a classroom or it is done through e-learning online. And you'll You'll have to do that before you finish your full certification course. Now, I will say, if you just want to try scuba, there is something called Discover Scuba Diving or Try Scuba at a lot of different locations. And I have a whole video about that in the cards as well as in the description down below. However, I will say that those students that do that have a much more diminished or minimal experience compared to certified divers that are able to go a bit deeper, stay down a bit more, and explore sites that are more for certified divers rather than just people trying it out for the first time. Another issue that I found is that certification can cost some pretty good money depending on your budget and things like that and having to budget for a vacation already and have spending money for the resort or the hotels you're at, the local shopping that you want to do, any tourist activities you want to do, and then even more money now to also get certified. It can kind of be a burden and getting certification beforehand means that you spent that money before your trip and it's kind of from a, a separate budget allotment and once you're certified you're always certified so you can enjoy it on all future trips without having to rebudget for that full certification and instead you're just budgeting for rental gear or maybe taking an extra bag with your own dive gear if you decide to purchase your own now for all of these reasons it just makes much more financial sense as well as just time saving sense to get certified at home on your own schedule without having to rush around during your vacation vacation when you're trying to relax. That way on your vacation you can explore fully without being restricted like the try scuba students would be and you don't have to worry about going to a classroom or opening that laptop up. You can stay disconnected, sign up for a dive, rent some gear, go out diving with your cert card in hand and you'll be all set and ready to go rather than trying to get that done in your tightly packed week or few days that you're on vacation. Now, another benefit of becoming a diver before your vacation is building a bit of confidence underwater. A lot of new divers and newly certified divers get a little bit nervous about diving out in the blue for the first time, and especially if it's not a guided dive. You may have to swim against the current for the first time, you might have to do a little bit of underwater navigation with your buddy to get back to the mooring point or the anchor line, and all of this can just be a little overwhelming sometimes for new divers. Now, while all of this is normal to feel, most people start feeling comfortable after one or two, maybe three ocean dives where they kind of get a little bit more comfortable with the dive vessel they're on, the whole procedure's there, and just diving out in that blue again with their buddy and they can start to enjoy themselves. But it's much, much better if you take that time before your vacation, get certified, and then go out and practice a little bit. Dive around some and enjoy yourselves before you go out on your vacation. You don't want to spend your vacation learning, you want to spend your vacation enjoying instead. You have to think, you want your vacation to be a nice, relaxing experience. And by spending time at home, getting certified, and doing some practice and training to work on air consumption, buoyancy, finning techniques, etc., you're going to feel so much more comfortable in the water, enjoying yourself, enjoying your dives during that finite 
time that you're on vacation rather than the rest of the time that you're at home where you can spend a weekend going diving every once in a while if need be to get some extra practice after your certification and doing that again before you go on your vacation and spend time and put yourself into a tight timeline where you have to study, study, study and learn as you go while you're on holiday. Now, before I go on to my next point, if you're finding this valuable, consider subscribing so you can see more content like this and maybe share it with one of your friends that's thinking about getting certified or is going to be going on a trip soon so they can get their certification. They might want to reconsider. And if you do have any dive trips coming up yourself, leave a comment down below of where you're going to be going. Maybe I'll see you as I have some trips coming up myself and maybe we'll cross paths. Next, getting certified locally means getting to know your local dive community. I know for me personally, my local dive shop has become like family and not just once, but twice now as I've lived in two different states while being a diver and my local dive shop really has turned into like a family for me. Not only have I built relationships with the instructors and store employees that help me with my travel guidance, maybe gear recommendations, or just help with maintaining my gear too, but I've actually made some pretty good friends with the store employees as well because that community of divers are people that are into the same sport as me. They're into a similar hobby of diving and we wind up having other things in common as well. So not only do we get to become dive buddies and go out diving together, going on trips together, etc., but we hang out outside of the dive shop too. And I've actually made some really good friends that way. Most dive shops try to have some type of community built around the shop itself for divers. And they do this with things like dive trips and barbecue events and local things like drive and dive weekends, where you might drive to a local destination, do diving there for the whole weekend, and then drive back home on Sunday night or something like that. Then, as I mentioned, there's also the international trips as well. So they might either fly to another part of the United States if you're here locally, or maybe down to Mexico, down to the Caribbean, uh, Southeast Asia, the Middle East, etc. And these are usually week long trips or sometimes two week trips where you spend the whole week on a liveaboard and you just dive the whole week with a group of friends that are all from your local area. Or you might be spending the whole week at a resort somewhere and that entire resort is all inclusive and you just dive two or three times a day. And, you know, of course, you can always opt out of different dives and do different things, but being able to do all of that diving is great for your confidence, great for your skill building, and great for camaraderie because again, you're diving with people from your local area because the entire shop is going on that trip together. I love these dive trips so much that I'm actually looking at hosting my own in 2024. So if you'd have any interest at all in diving with me and going on a trip somewhere, leave a comment down below letting me know and reach out to me if you'd like on my website as well, circlehscuba.com. It just lets me know who may or may not be interested and we'll see what 2024 brings us and if maybe we can host a trip for Circle H Scuba subscribers. Now, outside of your local dive shop, getting certified locally means that you also meet students who are local to the area. These fellow students can become your dive buddies as well. You can go out with them for local dives to practice your skills and do some extra training. Maybe you wanna take the next certification course or a specialty and you can have them join you and be your dive buddy for that as well. And you can begin to build your own little dive family outside of the shop as well. A lot of areas also have some type of local diving club or diving meetup group that you can find on meetup.com or on Facebook groups or something like that. And those divers will usually get together maybe once a month or during the summer, maybe like every week for a night dive or something like that. And they'll do night dive sessions, barbecues, weekend dives, different social events. And you know, depending on how active that club is, it can really be a really nice way to meet people that have a similar interest to you in a hobby. And if you're anything like me, we all know that as adults, it's hard to make friends. So groups like this and clubs like this are a great way to find people with common interests that you can start hanging out with immediately. Getting certified before your vacation means that you can meet up with some of these local community people, whether again, it's your fellow students, the local dive shop, local dive clubs, etc. Get some extra time in the water, build that confidence up, and then go on a vacation with these people. You can all enjoy yourselves together, spend time with your friends that you've made, and just go out and enjoy your vacation. Now, the big thing with any type of traveler vacation that you do is ensuring that you bring everything you need before you leave. And that's why in this video, I cover everything you need to pack for your next dive trip. Click or tap the screen now to check that out. And with that, stay safe, have fun, and let's go diving.